for another lo-fi hip-hop effect that i really like i've used it a few times but most notably in my song called surf from my album hmo3 so i'll play a little sample of what we're going to be going over but basically we want to emulate the way to make it sound like you're underwater. The way that you do this is you remove the high end from a track when you're producing it, and it creates this muffled effect that can sound a lot like being underwater. So you can use this in a bunch of different ways, but I really wanted to push that here for this song. Because it's called Surf, I wanted to bring a lot of water elements into it. So you see I have like an ocean sound effect here, but I'll play the little excerpt that I'm talking about. So as you can hear, it sounded like a splash and then you're going underwater and then a splash to come back up out of the water. So I thought this was really cool because it sounds like you're swimming at an ocean or in a pool or something and you're going underwater and then coming right back up from it. So the way that I do the water sound effect was actually just this effect that I found on YouTube if I solo this. So it's one of just going down and then when it gets to the end of this excerpt, I actually just reversed it so that it sounds like you're coming back up. Um, so if you hear right here. So I just reversed that to do that. And then the way that I did it on the rest of this is on my master track under my auto filter. I added this from the audio effects. So if you just go to your audio effects, you can drag on an auto filter. You can actually automate this from your master track. So if I select my auto filter, once I drag it onto my master track, I'm gonna switch to frequency because that's what we're gonna be wanting to change. So I will reset this really quick so that I can show an example of it. When you turn on automation for this, you'll see that there's no red dots because there's nothing applied here and you'll have a dotted red line. So for here, I wanted this sound to start right when the water droplet sounded. So I'm gonna start it here. This is at the top, so there's no frequency being removed as of right now here. But then once it gets to this 21 bar, I want it to drop down a little bit. So we're gonna mark right there. Once I want it to start coming back up, then I will mark it again. So we're gonna want it on this last bar here once the droplet goes in reverse. And then we're going to want it to end here at this last one on 25. So with that, then I'm going to drag what I want it to automate. So right here, once we're at 21, I want it to go down a bit and remove a bit of the high end. So it sounds like it's underwater and it's going to transition this automatically from the 19 down to the 525. So the same thing for here, we're going to want to match these up at 525. So then once I play this again, if I remove the solo, then you'll hear and see that start to automate. So you see that it brought down the frequency. So then for this whole time that it's playing, it's gonna do that. And then once it's get here, you'll see it'll transition back. That's a really neat way that you can make an underwater effect. And you can actually do this in a lot of different ways for transitions and things like that. So right before the end of a loop, say like between 25 to 24, you can remove all you can remove the frequency immediately and then have it transition back up. So it's like a nice little transition between different sections of a song. So I hope that was helpful. Um, there's a lot of ways that you can use this, like I said. It's just kind of being creative with it and using what you know to your advantage. So I've used this in many different ways, not only for an auto water effect, like I said, you can use this for transitions as well. So I hope that this was helpful. Let me know if you have any other questions or specific things that you wanna be able to do in music. I'll be working on some more lo-fi tutorials so that you can be able to make some stuff on your own. Hopefully this was helpful and I'll see you all in the next one.